We're joined now by Roger Gribble, our Northwest Area Agronomist. And Roger, just give us a general overview of how harvest is going in, in this neck of the woods. Well, we're in Northwest Oklahoma today, and uh, we have a, a couple of highways that kind of saw us in half. Highway 51 goes through Okeen into Stillwater. 412 goes from Woodward all the way through and ends up into Tulsa, and then Highway 11, which is up by and goes through Medford. Uh, we're about 85% above uh, Highway 51 at 412, uh, I've seen a lot of it already out. Highway 11, we're yet maybe 20, 25% there. So kind of graduates as move, harvest moves north, we're, we're moving north with it. Uh, could be as much as 50% by the end of the week. And Roger, this year's harvest was a little bit earlier than, than normal years, right? That, that's right. Uh, due to the drought, as we were timing for some fungicide applications, we were anywhere from two weeks to 20 days ahead of normal. Well, we slowed down a little bit once we got cool, but we're still in that range of being anywhere from 10 to 15 days ahead of where we were last year. And anybody who farms anything, of course, focuses on the weather, but it's really had an impact on this year's crop. Yeah, we're yields expectations where our usual producers are 35 to 40. Uh, it's not uncommon to be somewhere between 20 and 25 here in northwest Oklahoma. There are some really good locations, Lindo, up uh, to the north of us. Uh, yields of anywhere from 35 to 45 bushels are capable up in the Alva, Cherokee, uh, across the Ponca City area. Okay, because they, I guess, got more rain. They and... caught a rain, but it wasn't excessive. It just came at a little more timely uh, than, than what we received here in the Enid area and further south. There's a lot of talk about yields versus prices. It's really a trade-off, though, when there's some lower yields in a lot of these fields this year. Yeah, it's it's a, it's a market-driven thing, and even guys who normally wouldn't cut 12 to 15 bushels, they kind of just let that go. They're harvesting it because the price is pretty high. And from what I understand, there are some fields that have these really good yields, and then a field or two over, it may be a lot lower. Yeah, a lot of that will basically boil into what was the crop rotation of the of the of the field in, of history. Right now in double crop where we had uh, grain sorghum, soybeans, uh, maybe some sesame last fall, uh, those crops did extremely well. It wasn't anything to have a hundred bushel grain sorghum in a double crop, but yet when we rolled that from uh, grain sorghum into wheat, those fields uh, are in the 10 to 12, maybe 15 bushel range. So anything that was after a double crop has been hurt. And as we kind of wrap up, what do you think, another week, 10, 10 days or so, and, and it'll be pretty much wrapped up in this uh, area? I think we're probably talking about 15 days and okay. we'll, be, we'll be through Oklahoma. Okay, Roger Gribble, thank you. Good thank information. You.